Here we're going to look at a nice geometry problem. So let's look at the setup. We've got a right triangle ABC. So there's ABC. So that makes AC the hypotenuse. The base of that triangle has length little b. The height of that triangle is little a. Okay. And then we put a point Q, which is the midpoint of AC. And then we can form a semicircle or a half circle AQC. So this thing right here to here, and then up there, that's going to be a half circle. And then BPC is a quarter circle. So that's this bit right here, BPC, like that. And our goal is to find this area, which I have shaded in light green. If you want to try this with a hint or something, my hint would maybe be inclusion, exclusion. And so maybe if you guys want to give that a go, we'll come back with a solution. And off camera, I'm going to add a couple of more pictures that will help us out. copies of my picture on the board and so this one I've shaded the right triangle ABC and in this second one I have shaded the semicircle AQC and finally over here I've shaded the quarter circle BPC. Now we want to see how we can combine the areas of these figures together to get the area of our goal picture here. And if you look at it well clearly we will need this bit right here Notice that's up here. That's only within this red part, so we'll have to add on that area. Also, we'll need this part right here. That's only in our blue part, so we'll have to add on that area. So we will at least need the addition of this part and this part right here. But now let's notice between these two figures, we've counted area of a region that we don't need. In fact, we've counted the area of this bit right here, which I'll just like lightly shade in orange. But look, that's the area of something that we already have on the board. So in fact, we can just subtract the area of this purple region and then we'll be good to go. Okay, so now let's make our calculation here. So this is going to be the area of a triangle with base B and height A. So we know that this area is going to be one half base times height or one half A times B. Now we can move on to the area of this portion that's in blue. So by the Pythagorean theorem, we can figure out that the hypotenuse of this triangle has length given by the square root of A squared plus B squared. Well, that's good news because that tells us that the radius of our circle will be one half times the square root of A squared plus B squared. Then we know we're taking the area of half of a circle. So the area that we'll need will be pi over 2 times the radius squared. So that'll be a half square root of a squared plus b squared quantity squared. So that gives us the area of this blue region, whereas this was the area of the red region. So now let's move on to the area of the purple region, which we need to subtract. So that's going to be pi over 4 times b squared. Here we're throughout using that the area of a circle is pi r squared. So the area of half of a circle will be half of pi r squared. The area of a quarter of a circle will be a quarter of pi times the radius squared, and so on and so forth. So now we can just really finish off this calculation. So notice we have a half ab. And then this will be plus pi over 8 times a squared plus b squared. So where does that come from? The square and the square root cancel each other. And then this half in the denominator turns into a 4 because we square it. Gets multiplied by this 2 to give it an 8. And then we're going to subtract pi over 4 b squared. Finally, we can compare this pi over 8 times b squared and this pi over 4 times b squared into one term and we'll be left with a final answer. So it'll be 1 half ab pi over 8 a squared minus pi over 8 times b squared. And that's a good place to stop.